Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part five of the same topic, that is the introduction to graphs. So in that we'll see the chapter endings. So this is the first question. There is they said that a certain amount of water was heated, and the temperature at different intervals of time was observed when recorded in the graph that is shown in figure. The figure is given here. Using the graph, answer the following questions here. So this is the graph given. So here they said find a temperature after seven minutes. So this is the time and this is the temperature. So where you can see seven minutes will go here upwards and then you will go at the sideways. So it is in between 60 and 70. So that should be 65 degree centigrade. After how many minutes is the temperature 85? degree centigrade. Now see here 85 is in between 80 and 90. So you will come down here. So that is after this one, after 10, you can see this is 11. So this part, there are two divisions after that. So that we can say that is approximately that will be that is 10.5 minutes. Because in between this, this is 11, in between this 10 and 11, that will be 10.5 minutes. After how many minutes of heating does the temperature remain constant? How can you say so? So we can see here, here the temperature now after this is constant. So after how many minutes is this constant? This is after 12 minutes. So we can say that is after 12 minutes. The following double line graph, so this is a double line graph. So it is given here this the straight one that is for the hostelers and the dotted one that is for the day scholars so the following double line graph shows the enrollment of day scholars and the hostelers in a college from the year 2005 to 2012 so you can see this from here from 2005 to 2012 so study the graph to answer the following questions what was the number of hostelers enrolled in the year 2009 so now in 2009 the hostelers is a straight uh, this one so this is and the dotted is a day scholar. So 2009 will go straight up. So and will go sideways. So that is in between 600 and 700. So that will be 650. In which year was the number of hostelers and the number of day scholars enrolled the same? So now can you see here, there is a point here, that is 2008. And here is 2012. Both of them here, they meet here means that is a which year 2008 and 2012, they are the same. What was the enroll, total enrollment from 2010 to 2012? So what I have done the separate table, we can also put a line over here, so that will be more better. And box here. Okay, so now they are asked from 2010 to 2012. So now uh, what is the total environment? So I have made us separate for the hostelers and the day scholars and from 2010, 11, 12. So now let us see for the hostelers what was the environment first for 2008. We'll start from 2008. So here. Two, sorry, that is 2010. Uh, that is 2010 for the hostelers because that is a straight line. So this is 900. So this is 900. For the day scholars, we will go here and we'll go sideways. That is between 800 and 700 and 800. That should be 750. So here is 750. Now we'll see for 2011. Now for this 2011, it is in between 700 and 800, so that should be 750. And for this one, it should be 600. So 750 and 600 for the day scholars. 2012, so 2012, we go this way. 
so that is 800 so that 800 is for both of them so this 800 for both of them so now what will you do individually first let us add one for 2010 this is going to be 1650 for this 2011 that is going to be 1350 and for 2012 that is going to be 1600 so they have asked the total enrollment for this one so for both of them so that will be 1650 plus 1350 plus 1600 so that should be 4600 in which year did the number of day scholars enrolled exceed the previous year's day scholars by the greatest number so now we can see here so which year was that that is exceeding so that is 2010 so this is 2010 find the difference in the number of students enrolled as day scholars and as hostelers in the year 2005 so now you can see first number of day scholars in 2005 and number of hostelers in 2005 so that is going to be 2005 so this is 300 and this is 650 so you can see that is 650 for the day scholars and the hostelers is 300 so we want the difference between them so difference will be the 650 we are going to subtract from this one 300 so that is going to be 350 students in which two years were the number of students enrolled as day, day scholars students enrolled as day scholars the same so now can you see a year 2006 further they are asking for the day scholars which is the dotted line and here is here both are same at this point and this point so here is what 2012 so 2006 and 2012 so here 2006 and 2012 in which year was the number of day scholars enrolled double the number of hostelers enrolled so can you see this is 350 and when we go here this is 700 so it is 350 into 2 that is going to be 700 so that is double so that will be 2007 plot the points p00 q50 and r03 on a graph paper you have to join qr what kind of figure is obtained now this you can take a graph so uh, we can just take a scale i took here because they are from 0 to 5 so just 0 i took one unit as 1 1 2 3 4 5 and you can also put one more point and same thing i did on the y-axis this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis so now uh, we have to take 0 and 0 0 and 0 means the point is going to be here itself then 5 and 0 5 and 0 means whenever we have this means this is x and this is y so it is going to be here itself and then 0 and 3 0 and 3 means this will be y this will be x so the point is going to be here so now we are going to join qr so now we have written the points p q and r according to this one and then we are going to join this qr so now what you can see this is a right angle triangle they said what kind of figure is obtained so we can say a right angle triangle do I line passing to 2 2 and minus 2 2 minus 2 and 2 and then does it pass to the origin so now again we have taken a graph we can take the points equal distance this is 1 2 1 2 1 2 minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 minus 2 and they said 2 2 means this 2 and 2 means it should be here the point should be here minus 2 and minus 2 means here minus 2 and this also is minus 2 so the point should be here and you are going to join it so what happens here it is this is the origin so it is passing to the origin so does it pass to the origin so we can say yes it passes to the origin following is a conversation this conversion graph between miles and kilometers on the horizontal axis one centimeter represents one mile can you see here one centimeter is one mile and on the vertical one this is the vertical one one centimeter represents 1.6 kilometer so here 1.6 we can use the table of 16 and you can see here so here is given this 1.6 3.2 so that depends 1.6 kilometer a soldier walks five miles what is the distance in kilometer so when it is walking five miles we will go upwards and touch this line so what is that in kilometer that will be eight kilometers so distance is going to be eight kilometer 
Priya's house is 3.2 kilometer from the school. What is the distance in mile? So if it is 3.2 here from here, you will come here because the line is here. So that is going to be two miles. So the distance is two miles. A man walks at an average speed of 5.6 km per hour. What is the speed in miles per hour? So now we want in per hour we want. So the, this you have to remember that one kilometer per hour is 0 0.621 miles per hour. So we have 5.6 kilometers. So below this we are going to write here because this is kilometer per hour. So what will be that? You are going to multiply this into this. One will be 5.6 into 0 0.621. So that is going to be 3.5 miles per hour. Do I graph for the following data? So this is the table given and there was is it a linear graph. So what we can do, we can take the scale. That is uh, what I have done. This is the graph and I have taken the scale as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So what did I write here? One unit is because this is in meter because this is given in meter. So I've written here one unit is one meter. So I've taken one one meter this one. Uh, one, one unit I've taken one meter. And here, because this is 900, 1000, 2500, uh, 3600. So also you can take 1000, 2000, 3000, 4000 here on the scale. Or you can take the smaller one if you want. We can make it to 500, 1000, 15, this one. So you can see the difference is 500. So we can write here yx is one unit. This one unit is 500 that is in rupees that is in rupees so now what will you do you're going to plot it three four five six so on three what is that when it is in three meters that the cost of laying tiles here this is going to be one one thousand this is given as 900 so it will be slightly here one this two uh, this year on 900 you can count from here because this will be 750 and this two two units will should be that will be 100. So this is 900. So the point should be here. The next point is 4 and that is on 1000. So that point should be here. 5 and 2500. 5 and 2500 is here. So the point should be here. And 6 and 3600. So this 6 and this will be slightly here uh, because this is 3500 after that on this point on the second one so that is going to be theta. so they said is it a linear graph so we'll join these points so it's not a linear but linear should be like this right so it's not a linear graph so by this one we have completed today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of other parts thank you